We ordered too much concrete. What is up everybody? So today we are at the greenhouse. We're getting ready to pour concrete for the pond. So we are officially starting the pond build. Super exciting. But this is gonna be the concrete pad for the pond. We're just gonna pour it all the way from end to end. It's gonna be a six inch pad. Pond is gonna be about 1700 gallons. And then this area is gonna be where all the filtration goes. So the pond will be from here over this will be filtration area. We got all of our filtration stuff ready right here. So we got our awesome K plus filter, pumps, UV filter, everything. So yeah, we're waiting. But truck's probably about an hour out. We got a concrete truck coming. We have to put their chute through the door and then wheelbarrow it from here to there. So I got one of my buddies coming to help me, which is awesome. So thank you, Samson. But uh, yeah. Wait for that truck to get here and then we will get going. All right guys, the mixer is here. We got concrete, we are ready to go. All right, so we got everything cleaned up. Concrete's all done. We made a mess everywhere. We didn't clean this up yet, obviously. But we had some other stuff to do, so we left. It's been curing for a few hours now. We'll come back in the morning and pull the forms off. But yeah, it was done. I think it's looking pretty good. And I don't know, it feels good. We have officially begun the pond build. Okay, so concrete set up overnight. It's the next morning. We're gonna go ahead and pull these forms and then give her a scrub and clean up in here, see what it looks like. Got all the forms pulled, everything's looking good. So we're gonna sweep up this mess, get everything cleaned up in here, and then we'll be waiting for cinder block. Okay, we got the cinder block, or half of it at least, the mortar, the rebar, and everything like that ready for this. So we're gonna unload this little bit, and then we gotta go back to Home Depot, get the other half of the cinder block, get that in the greenhouse, and then we will start building the pond.
All right, so we got all the cinder block. We got all the rebar and supplies. We are ready to go. So this is gonna roughly be the pond edge where this orange line is from here over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie straight into this cinder block. So we'll drill holes, put 12 inch pieces of rebar sticking out, and then we will fill this with concrete. And then we will build our lead, our corner over there, and then go from there. One thing everybody always wonders, I don't know why I like to do it this way, it's just easier for me. But I do the cinder block, I drill all the holes for the rebar, and then do the cinder block and then put the rebar in and epoxy it after, just because then I'm not lifting every single block over the rebar. So I'm doing it that way, it works great for me. But yeah, we are gonna get started on this and see how it goes. Okay, so we are all ready to start laying block. We got our rebar here to tie these walls to these outside walls. This one already had concrete in it, so we just drilled it and epoxied these in and then cut them to length. This side did not have concrete in it, so we drilled them, put concrete in it, and then got these in. They're still, gotta wait for the concrete to set up a little bit, but. So that is how we will tie these sides in, and then you can see we got our chalk line here. So this is what will go off with the outside of the block. So first we'll probably lay the first row of block just to make sure the concrete's level. We kind of just eyeballed this concrete so if it has like little waves we got to compensate on that bottom layer. So we'll get the first layer of block laid and then after that we will build the lead. We'll build up this corner to full height, probably let that set overnight and then we'll come back the next day and do in between. So I just want to give a disclaimer real quick too. I am not a mason. I do not do concrete like you guys these walls this is all my experience that I got I just research shit a lot and do what I think I need to do but yeah so not saying this is the best way to do it but this is how I do it. All right, so we got the two corner blocks set. We're starting here and then we'll work in either direction all the way across, then build a corner, like I said. And also, like I said, I am not a mason. I don't do block much, if at all. So getting these two took me way longer than it should have, but we're done now and we got them like perfectly level. I wanna start perfectly level because then it's easier to run it out the rest of the way. So the rest of the way should be pretty easy. And I also built up quite a bit of mud underneath them just because, like I said, the concrete might be a bit wavy. So we pretty much get everything leveled up here. Got these two perfect. Perfect. So then we'll start running them out this way.
All right, so we took a break for the week, but we are back at the greenhouse, gonna try to finish getting this block knocked out. We were both sick all week, which really slowed down progress, but this is the last layer before the window. So this is the last full layer. From here, the rest of it will only come to here and to here where these orange lines are. And then in the middle will be where the viewing window is. So what I wanna do is put, we forgot about this last weekend, but I wanna put rebar in here like horizontal in this layer. And we don't have bond beams and I forgot to knock the blocks out before. So we're gonna just use this grinder. I'm gonna just score in here and then try to knock part of the centers out with a hammer. And then we'll cut some rebar to length. We'll tie it into the piece coming out of the wall and run rebar all the way through here. And then we'll keep doing some more layers. We'll probably do one layer of rebar here and then one layer at the top. And then we are also gonna epoxy in our vertical rebar now too. So. We'll get all that set up and then we'll get going on the block again. Yay. Got all the rebar in, everything's good to go, so I'm gonna start laying more block. So we got these two layers done. So you can see now where the window is gonna be. And uh, we're gonna let these set up a little bit, go get some food. And then we gotta go buy some more blocks. So when I was getting my butt kicked with this one earlier, it's because some of these blocks we got from Home Depot are like twice as heavy as the other ones. And they're also a little bit thicker. So when we were trying to set them, they were sinking through the wet mortar too much. And then I finally got it set right and it was overhanging on the one side. So we are not gonna use these. I'll probably save them for something else. And we're gonna go get some more cinder block for the rest of this, or concrete block, whatever you wanna call it. are done this is the pond so check out how good it turned out it turned out nice and straight not very good at brickwork but I think we did a pretty good job on this just probably took longer than it should have yeah this is it so we'll get it all fiberglassed and then we'll get the viewing window put in here get all the filtration and stuff hooked up it will be a functioning pond so now we're gonna clean up our mess and then start planning out for all the fiberglass and everything that is it for this episode, guys. Thank you for checking it all out, but that's all I got for you. Well.